go ahead and talk about it. Well, I'm mostly just about the uh, whole bracket, like the fact that we have a lot of good teams coming in and a lot of promising prospects from over like uh, Europe and like CIS also joining into the scene as well. It's going to be a, uh, an interesting seven days of fighting, an interesting uh, seven days of Counter Strike, and hopefully a lot of well, well worthy moments of uh, everyone's time and everyone's you know enjoyability for the uh, whole experience. So for overall, welcome to everyone here in. Uh, <laughs> here on Twitch. We are getting ready to join into the server as soon as possible. Just waiting a couple, couple confirmations from the teams. And, um, well, whenever that is uh, said and done, we'll be, we'll be jumping straight on into it. But with that all being said and done, a couple of predictions for the, for, the, um, for the game. You said that Nexus is favored to win it based on map pool? Well, yeah, I'd say map pool and the recent results. They, they have been playing quite a bit here in comparison to the start of Nexus. They played, what, 116 maps in their last three months in Nexus. I mean, 96, they're still up there, both very active. But well, we'll be getting into this Nexus, the favorite from what you, if you ask me, but we'll be getting into the game right away. So, into the pistol here. Nexus Gaming starting on that T side of Fate's map pick. Kind of a bit interesting, but we'll get into it no matter what and Looking at this, the T side will be going for a bit of map control immediately in towards mid. I am looking for something as the T side. They're just looking for information at this point. Looking for the CT side to give them any sort of a advancement, any sort of a pos position in the map they can abuse here. The rotations, big part of the map, and currently fate. They've got a single man towards that banana area and four man stack towards the A bomb side, which currently with the Nexus headed that way, it will be. A very interesting fight to see. It's going to be a brutal battle for the contention of this A side. Now looking at the T side, the smoke's going out, and the T side will start flooding in. Four players waiting for them, but not making any noise. Just the now the single flashbang they go in. Two players on the one side. The first man immediately coming in. Mal Milky with the second one, and the CT side they're shutting everyone down. But there's a T side firing back and onto a two on two very quickly here. An even situation, but dropping into bit. Red Star gets taken down next, and it's going to be hatching into one on two very quickly here as the T side. A bit surprisingly, to my uh, surprise, they do manage to get that a bomb send now very quickly. Oh, look at how close he is. The T-side have no clue. He's already on the bomb side. Taps away with the first one. Looking oh. to get the frag, but no, he's not got it. And next game, he gets themselves that first round. It's a bit unfortunate. As, well, Fate, they had the read that everything already in position, but they didn't have the necessary uh, well, frags or stopping power, despite having four players already on that. Bomb site, and with the uh, second round by already be go already gonna be coming in, Fate is trying to claw themselves back from the uh, well, a little bit of desperation of losing the initial round and getting himself a bomb plant. They're gonna be going going in with deagles and uh, also a couple of P two fifties. Not really too much uh, well extravagant on the side of Nexus Gaming. All only things you would really expect two AKs, a couple of Galils, and the Mac ten to really do the work against no armor players. Currently not on the server. And with, well, Nexus, they're playing this quite slow. Not really uh, jumping in head first, as uh, you might might have expected. Seem to be aware that potentially going up against pistols of some type, and well, the nades are uh, good enough to at least delay them a little bit. Looks like now with the first contact already coming up towards the B bomb site, and they're already all the way through. Button turning away at the wrong possible time, and Milky gets get himself a double before he falls away. And Jello, well, he'll just have to make do with whatever he can. Three players from Nexus towards the B bomb site, and now the retake's going to be coming in. To wait and see what they can do with this. Yeah, the CTs very quickly make their way, and well, currently having the man advantage in this one with the rifles on the side of Nexus Gaming should be able to deal with this. However, the mana power every now and then can be a bit surprising. The utility that the CT side have is surprising in itself, looking at them. Look at this, now they go into flashback one and Whoa. two. The Galil from Riga getting himself those frags, and well, here's another one for the T-Center. They just hold on that Beemo side in a flawless manner. That is very good, amazing job by them. Yeah, good oh. stuff. That's the... Force spy now concluded from side of uh, fate, not getting too much out of it. Still letting Nexus plant the bomb, and that will actually result in a little bit of an economy uh, drainage. 
so they probably have to go for just a couple of pistols uh, and they're just only use PSs at this fact. Nothing really to uh, brag about. And next is going with double Mac 10s. They want to make as much money as they can off of this. And well, with this stack from uh, Fate towards that A bomb site. Could be very risky, and it's a good nade from from Raga already doing so much damage. Trying to look for even more, and he spots a lot of information. He will actually get himself a double for he's still trying to fight. He does get himself a triple. Still looking for more. That will eventually be the end of him. Now Jello here left to clean it all up alongside with I am. But that's the Mac 10 getting himself what three kills with six hundred dollar kill reward bonus. That's not bad at all. No, definitely not. Just getting a bit of cash flowing in that T side. In Italy, it's a very economical map. Although, like, every now and then you see teams just go for a bit of a banana rush, something like that. Like, T side Inferno, one of the uh, maps where you definitely can get away with it on the T side. Like, most maps you've got a chance the economy favors the T side heavily, Dust 2, Inferno, and let's see, even Vertigo, maybe Overpass, all of those kind of in the same pool. They've got that same, uh, same kind of T side to them. Or the economy is heavily favored, but now if you just rush it, even on low economy, you can still win a round. CTs gotta be just near perfect holding that, especially now they've only left a single man there. But Nexus game taking that mid area instead, just making all of my predictions here, all my remarks obsolete. Just now getting that mid control CTs with a bit of utility. They've looked to want to go aggressive towards that short area, and he now falls off of it. And the CTs with the smoke from the bomb side has separated the T side, but they know they're probably not going to be too far in there. There's one frag coming in, but Nikki gets the man to go down. Still the CT side with the man advantage. He's not next Whoa, one going hard. No. Also falling to the same T side player. Then that is not looking too great with that CT side right now. And yet another oh frag getting caught out. The rush of the pushes from Banana. That just opens up the rotate. Look at that Nexus Gaming already in there. Semi so, I mean, has to do is smoke off CT, and it will be the bomb site for the side of Nexus Gaming like that. And the CT is fate. They basically got no money there. Even another frag apparently coming in there. And Red Star has been left all alone. Not for long. We'll join his teammates in the afterlife with a 4-0 lead here. Yeah, four quick rounds from Nexus as well. Not to uh <laughs> not looking to slow down anytime just yet. Zello still hasn't died yet. Six uh six kills, two assists, zero deaths on that man. And the economy is building up very, very nicely for them. At this stage, they really don't need to have any more, any more Mac 10s or anything of the sorts. And Fate, they're going to be quite, well, they're going to be struggling to try and catch up to this. And, well, they've got to wait and see what they can do. Looking to make a, uh, a difference with these deals and, well, even a CZ. Not something you see every single day. Especially not up, uh, not up against uh, full AKs. is definitely more effective up against no armor. And again, every, everything kind of is. And Nexus, once again, looking, trying to take control towards Banana. They've been very successful in the fact that Fate just kind of lets them have it. Now, they haven't really been fighting for it immensely just yet. A little bit of nade damage at the beginning of the round, but not much more than that. And well, there's going to be, have to be a very quick rotation or a very good hold from the CT side. That's already off to a good start. Patrick, it's a little bit of a 1D, and Milky trying to spam off through the smoke. Does get a lot of damage towards an IM. Which might have to dissuade Nexus a little bit. They don't might not want to be going for this just yet. Yeah, they definitely have done well to hold off that T side so far, and with the time now starting to run a bit low. CT is currently stacking the wrong bomb site. There's one time again, Nexus. They've so far four rounds in, changing things up quite a bit in how they play these rounds, but mid seems to be one a recurring theme here. And I believe it's the first time they now take long as well, 30 seconds, playing down that timer. It's got to be all into Red Star along with this teammate here to try and hold onto that A bomb side. And now they start to enter on the T side. That smoke is a pretty decent one, but the frag coming in for the T side already. First one found, a second one waiting on the bomb side. He's able to get one with the CZ, but that's going to be the end of the tail for the CT side in this round. Again, that's going to have to look forward to the next one most likely. Unless IM goes down here, then there's a chance, but. I don't think so. There's one frag already coming in and looking for that next one around the corner. Maybe not with Milky finding that one on the T side. Actually in a bit of a tough situation here. CTs start to walk in. They've got that smoke picked up. The AWP as well. The Desert Eagle needs to find the first frag here. And well looking for it. Oh no, he's oh going down. 
And same with the one on two. He gets the first one. What that? Milky, he's got that second. And Fate, they steal a round away. They've got enough time to defuse that bomb. It's going to be round number one for the side of Fate. And they should not have had that one. Bomb defuse and an op to boot. Fair enough, not, not too many people staying alive at the end of it, but still, you're going to be quite happy about that if you're the side of fake, considering the amount of, amount that you invested to begin with. So, they're going to be looking in for a gun round up against Nexus' very stable economy, so they're just slowly but surely starting to crumble at this point. Only have about, well, two, well, two or three players above the uh, two, uh, 2,000 mark, depending how generous or how wide you make that scope. And once again, Nexus taking up a lot of mana control very aggressively this time around. Not slowing down at all. There is a quick rotation in place in case they want to go for this, but currently we've seen, we're have seeing we seeing Nexus pull out every single play in their, their playbook. They've gone short, they've gone long, and they've tried many salts through mid, but now with them going in through middle, or through Banana again, yeah, they like to get this map control very early on here. Looking for these players, and well, the CTs, they're just making rotations at the moment. Looking to be taken down, looking to find something. Now, the T side of themselves, they're just waiting around. Like, at this point, in rounds like these, you don't want to overaggress because your economy, quite a lot of it is on the line. I mean, Nexus, they've still got some in the bank, yes. But obviously, doesn't do not want to lose this one. If they win it again, CTs forced down to nothing but pistols or maybe a force bite. Something like that, and, well, making their way towards that A site, or B site, it seems like, with Raga, the only man left towards that A site, will be trying to stay there. We'll see how far they uh, do go now. T side, make their way in. There's going to be that one man defending it. Patrick waiting at the bomb site. Moldov is coming in. Got to force him out of a position. Got to try and hide in it for as long as possible. So now the rotate's coming in. That nade is a big one. I do guess for Shams I thought it would, but now immediately going for that fight. Patrick goes down T side on themselves a way in it towards that B bomb. So another nade going in, and well, that one doing a bit more damage. There's that bomb plant being taken down through the smoke. They go in with another one coming in. Red Star has come in at the perfect time. There's the time. time. Zello has not got its fate. Second round. Two in a row here. Back to back. And up against the uh, full buys of Nexus as well. Not, they haven't gotten these rounds for free. They have been fighting for them, but although taking quite a lot of casualties along the way. So their economy, not going to be building up as rapidly as they may want to, but it's definitely will, it definitely will be building up the more rounds they get on the board. Although for Nexus, well, if you don't get the bomb plant down, it is going to get very, very difficult for you. Well, the longer you're going to continue on in this run. It's not a sprint, it's a marathon. You have to be very, very careful about all of this. Another nade... Doing a decent chunk damage, not exactly enough to take him in towards M4 headshot range, but close enough. Fate, once again, going with a very, well, compact A, a defense with two players on the uh, A bomb site fairly close to each other. So making a cross, fire, and, well, that's the AWP already out the picture. Horn stood, stood no chance in all of that. Now with the 4-4 four and four on the cards, Red Star looking to hold on towards from the graveyard positioning. We'll get himself a quick double, maybe in a third, not yet. And now it's all on towards the rotations from Fates, and it's a retake and a 2-1-2. Two two. Yeah, CTs again have to go for a rotate, and apparently they've already found that first frag very quickly, building it all on the seventh in a 1-2. Has a chance to prove himself again. As the CTs are moving in in unison. Look at the utility the CTs have. They've got two smallies and smoke and a flashbang all on them. As they now start to use that but Semin. Surely this position is going to be expected from one of them. And it will, it will get taken down with Patrick finding the frag. And the defuse in at the end. Will be faced with yet another round coming into this one. So they're not going to be slacking off. They're not going to be twiddling their thumbs. Letting Nexus get away with this one. It is the mapping of fate. They're going to try and get themselves as many round and rounds on this and the win to get themselves a uh, bit of a better chance, try and upset perhaps, at least in uh, at least in my books. At least in your yeah, we didn't really get to predictions in um, in the desk in analysis. So, site a quick time out here. It's a technical one as uh, one of the fake players seems to have a little bit, uh, have a few issues. Maybe it's PC, maybe it's internet. We don't know just yet, but nevertheless, hopefully it will be resolved quite quickly.
Look at that scoreboard, though. I mean, on Fate, it's very balanced. Like, you have, with what, what we're currently seeing with Milky, Patrick, Red Star, and Nikki, all very close in towards an well, equal amount of frags. On the other side of Nexus, however, it's a little bit more reliant on uh, well certain players, and most definitely Zello and Fraga. Yeah, it is them just carrying that T-side so far. And also, like, Look at it. It's currently four to three. That ne Nexus T side. I mean, again, just those two uh, players carrying that T side. Most of them just, well, five, two, and one. Uh, the CT is currently their frags all spread around, very even. Everyone around five, six kills, in uh, or four to six kills that area. Goes to show that CT side. It's basically like depending on the crossfires that they have, they hold on to it and whatnot. Like they try and see that T side. Welcome them towards those bomb sites and whatever else they might need. But now, Melky back on the server, looking like we might get back into the action very shortly here. But again, yeah, you did mention we didn't have a ton for the prediction, so if you have one right now, I'd be uh, happy to hear it. I mean, looking back at like the previous games that both these teams have been playing, it's not exactly a. Um... Well, fantastic resume, so to say. There's, there isn't a clear winner immediately from just, you know, previous games and an analysis from whatever they have played previously. Instead, we're kind of faced with a situation where both teams haven't been to performing to the top level um, in, like, the last, what, two weeks or so? Before that, they were on one. They were, like, on a streak. They had everything going in their way. Kind of seemed to slow down for both these sides. So it's a little bit difficult to give an accurate, you know, saying but i'm fairly confident that fate could potentially pull off an ups or like an upset as you would call it just looking at the uh the map pool and how it's not in their favor but the way they've been playing now it's it's a solid ct side speaking of we're going straight in back into it nexus now reduced to uh well only pistols deagles and a uh a tech nine a p250 as well Actually, Fate Esports taking a little bit more banana control, a little bit more aggressive this time around. Will they stick around, however? A little bit of tagging, and now Patrick looking for a little bit of frag. Not going to be finding anything just yet. Only be scared away for the moment. And once again, Nexus, this time a lot more aggressively, a lot more players as well towards that banana area. Looking to go on, I'll go on in with full force already. Milky. Well, it Assist Patrick can get in the first one, and Patrick, however, will get three quick and even a 4k as Nikki also helps out on the oh, end. But that, that is a is quick clean. shutdown. That is clean coming in from the T side or CT's. Patrick is rising up on the scoreboard immediately up to eight now. Was just mentioning the T side and how they're, uh, well, they've got those two standard players in the very beginning, and now, I mean, look at that. That's a clean hold coming out from a single man. Where's that B bomb send? It will lead us into a tied scoreline of 4 to 4. Fate, they've very quickly woken up here. CT defense will be one to watch out for. It's going to set the pace for this match here. The T side again, they have those weapons that last round. Grounded Wars, just pistols, so kind of puts down that 4k, but still just as impressive that nade, though. That's going to open up them to that headshot range. The head, the M4, known for its 91 in one. Ding and oh, another one. That one doing a bit more damage and even finding the frag with a Nikki. Oof. That's a big one, taking control of apartments just like that. The flash rang in as well. Clearing out that area of the map while Patrick has rotated in and the T side. They're going to be walking in through the smoke, aren't they? Look at that, there's one, and if he waits, he might have a second one. There's the one and two. He's taking them both. The T side walking in to their execution and waiting on the other side with two players now left alive. Zello, the man on top so far, 12 frags, this name with the AWP, and needs to get... At least one or two more here to open up that B bomb site. There's one holds the back line, the flank anticipated as the CT smoke lands. BTN will be the first man to go in, but still, there's a man waiting at the back side of patch, rotating now up to 10 already in this game. And look at them, the smokes are gonna start clearing anytime soon now, but still taking their time. 30 seconds left. There's that smoke oh. now. Oh no, a very, very slight gap in it. And Able to get that, and Zell left in a one on three has to now show his prowess, but cannot do it. It's a quick shot from Hard and the CT side taking the lead five to four here. 
quick turnaround. Suddenly they have five rounds in a row. And well, Patrick has definitely stepped up in a massive way. 4K from in the previous round, and now also a double to to uh, get on top of that. The next as well, they they have slowed down. Well, suddenly they're going for well a little bit more. I would say like passive play, not not exactly going for the uh, amount of aggression that they, did, that they did previously. And because of that, well, the nades have been slowing them down, game getting them towards headshot range, losing apps control and fate. They have been. Living the dream on the CT side. They might not look towards it in terms of scoreline, and well, it is definitely going in their favor. With Horn already finding himself a uh, first frag. Four, uh, three players once again on this fate defense. Looking more than ready, and is going to be a lot of contact over towards on apartments. And Nikki has to get out of, the, out of this alive, and he will be able to. It's a little bit of a risky play, but still he gets himself gives up a double. Molotov to delay them, and well, that's a. Complete stop. They're not getting past that at all. No, that T side very quickly getting taken down there. I mean, it's just the, it's the pistols. What else do you kind of really expect? The apartments push works on maybe once a game. Other than that, when I mean, it's it's very gimmicky. Like CTs, they were ready for. They've been playing very passive old you know, CT side so far, as you can tell. Like they've been yeah. waiting on the bomb sides, the crossfire, as I mentioned them earlier. They've been Trying to find those and just let that T-side have a bit of map control, but this time challenging with three players towards that banana area. And, well, there's already a boost right there as the T-side waiting on the other side if they walk out. Gotta be so damn careful not to get caught in it, but now Horn will be mollied off and moves away from that area. But the T-side of Nexus, they have no clue about this. They have no clue about the three-man setup that was there. Now they have left the orb there watching it. I like the aggressive angle, holding it. For that information now in the next round or in this next part here. That's the T side. Trying to get something going on here. Like, looking at this into long they go. I am in through that smoke with his teammate. There's another one, but this Molotov instead of Mol or instead of a smoke and a well timed one, a minute left. And look at that. T side. I haven't been stopped. Time is not being a favor for these uh, T's right now. Nexus yet to truly commit to anything just yet. They have positions where they could go in from anything. And now with Seven Knight making a little bit of noise, but so far no, none of the fate rotation is buying it. 30 seconds left now. They have to go towards the A-bomb site, considering where the bomb is already located. And with the execute now coming into place, Red Star in a good position to try and shut everything down. Button close up. Not going to be expecting that at all. Red Star, he's here and he's ready. He's shutting down the entire push. Not going to be able to get too much going, however. And suddenly, Nexus turning those one around. Milky, he will get himself a quick double. Shutting down the bomb as well. Looking for every single one of them. A quick 4K and a beautiful spray down. <laughs> Oh, it just that... turns around. That is insane. Oh, that's that's a good way to get seven in a row. Yeah, Nexus, they're taking a the timeout. Understandably so as well. That was yeah, a uh... seven in a row there for the CT side. God damn. God damn. I mean, again, I'm still gonna mention it. That CT side, their kills very even. T side not so. They've got BTN and Simmons very much dragging that T side right now. Everyone else. Is somewhat showing up still Zello and Rugged at the very lead of the T side. We'll, we'll go to show that T side need to get something going on and very quickly again, otherwise, this first half is just going to, uh, well, it's, it's going to get out of hand. There's no other way to put it, really. I need to get something, I need to get it quickly. Well, with the next start of the another, uh, Another half by coming in for Saturn Nexus. Kind of in the theme of it so far. Look at the aggression, however. Suddenly they're already up towards top middle, and fate, they're going to be running away. <laughs> well, Red Star's already been tied down quite a bit. A little bit of banana control coming in from fate as well. So everyone knows what's about to happen. They know they're going to about they're going to have to throw down throughout all this. And Nikki, he's going to be the first one there. The bomb has been spotted in Jello. He has dropped it wide open. No one there to what? refrag it just yet. That could have been dangerous. So, oh boy, it still is. What is that? T side now. Down to three players. That shot still from Simmons. 
just through the smoke and immediately turn around. But now it's gonna be down to Patrick. The man towards that B bomb say so jump spotting. I like the idea, but ETN it has a spot. I'm not gonna hit the shot. They're not gonna connect on the CT side. Defender, he may be alone here, but still has the M4, has his oh well, weaponry there. But yeah, Raga finding a frag towards that A site will open things up here. That smoke towards long now. Milky is going for the swing. Just so the timing that is to be most unfortunate timing you could have asked for for him. But there's another Boy. frag in hard. Oh, the P250 tries to spam away, and somehow a round like this has completely turned around. If you allow that pun, but now the ETN. Two frags to his name, but Patrick, look at this. The timing from a power print swings out. Will it find the connection and need and fate? Eight rounds in a row now. The CT side, it is shaping up to be in 11 for half at most. And well, that would just make things so much easier for them ahead of the down next one. Honestly, if fate can keep this up and somehow carry the momentum over towards that TU side. Could potentially be a very, very quick end to Ward's Inferno. They look dominant right now. It got very close in the last one with heading in towards the one versus one. With the, uh, I believe, Red Star Close clutching it out on the end. But still, it is a competitive Nexus, still giving it a good shot. It's a massive nade, however. It'll make things a little bit more difficult. Once again. So far, Nexus uh, pulling out everything they can in terms of their strat book, or at least they're just faking a little bit of presence everywhere and not really committing to anything just yet. Might be a, uh, a curse in disguise. Because, well, Fate, they've been proven over and over again that they are solid anchors in terms of just holding down the entire bomb site. Nikki looking to try and re re-aggress towards on short. Raga might get a little bit of a flashbang in his face. But not careful, hard. You will play a little bit of a dangerous game, still make it out alive, however. But the most focused are towards that B bomb site yet again. Yeah, T side, look at this, the surprise, they're gonna catch off that CT side. Milky is gonna be waiting, finds one, patch with a second, the crossfire. They just peek out one at a time, they let oh, Milky go for the first contact. That patch, oh. what a shot through the smoke, BTN. He's already not having a good time and adding that to it. We'll just make his time in the server even worse. Nikki holding banana the flank as well. There's going to be one and the second one. One HP basically will get Yeesh. taken down. Fate another round. I want to remind you, it was four zero for the side of Nexus at one point in the game. The beginning from yeah, they got the pistol and they converted from that. But since then, they've fallen completely flat. Fate getting a flawless round on top of their already now nine round winning streak. It's gonna cement them. Look at that. <laughs> Look at the AK. Look at the AKs on the CT side. They all have AKs except for the one Opper. Compared to what Nexus have, is just they have a Mac 10. That's the highest value gun they've currently got going on. It's a little bit unfortunate. Oh, there's a lot of tagging damage and a little bit of what? return, but oh no, that's not looking good for side of Nexus just just from the get go. It is a pistol round, but still, round you're looking to be at least making very profitable. Hasn't really gone in their favor just yet. Yeah, what on earth? That dam damage from two nades, and maybe I'm also I'm not sure, but that T side very quickly has been stumped towards that banana or that smoke down. It, it just ruined their plans. They know if they're going to walk through that, they're going to be taken oh, down. Even oh if they no. don't, they're going to be taken down, apparently. Patrick with the second shot through the smoke two rounds in a row now. Just taking down that T side, and oh no, Red Star, that nade. Look at it, it's so big. Oh, and even the Molly, what? It's just bullying that T side now. They have no chance in this round, and well, he's just gonna pull them out of position as well. Why not add a bit more to this? And now, last two players right inside of Banana, and the CTs might make a rotation. Yeah, they're gonna have one player rotate away as the T side rotate back in. Still, two players there should be a no brainer. CT side gonna close things out any day of the week. Now, we'll see. If they, T side players can find one frag, I, like they can get the one on ones here, but the crossfire should be coming in. Should be coming in. Patrick gonna get first contact, most likely, I'm gonna assume. And now, yeah, I'm gonna go for that wide swing. Apparently, gonna count them down. And well, now they both find one apiece. Will be the round coming in. Fate hitting double digits, and we are looking at an 11 for half here, possibly. Also, an 11 round streak on top of that. Yeah, that is it's not huge. exactly a. Uh... 
usually I'm more, you know, Inferno is a back and forth type of game, but not exactly. If it, are we able to get like the the? I want to see utility damage inside of Fate Esports. Is that a thing we can get during like halftime? I'm dying to see how much those nades have done because they have been on point. Seems like no nade they have been throwing has not hit them, them target for at least like 20 points of health. It doesn't sound like a lot, but that is all that you need. And look at the aggression, Fate. They're not easing down on this uh, gas pedal at all. No, it's just confidence overflowing at this point. Like, they're exuding it. The T-side, they can smell it in heart. Well, he's going to go in with another one. Usually, the apartments peak a uh, dangerous one for the CT and T-side. Goes uh, both ways. And, well, Harn, he was there all alone, so he goes to show again. And, oh, oh. look at that. No, Patrick's got the nade. He's got the nade. Look at that. He's going to toss it down, and I'm going to chase down again. That's more damage, but we'll be taken down. The T-side now allowed it. Passage towards that B bomb. So have a look at the rotate. All four CT players going to be making their way. Nikki, first man in through the smoke with the flash. Will be taken down by Zello. Holding with it the ALB full blind. Doesn't matter. Milky with one of his own through that smoke. Negative like boosting his teammate up and looking for the frags. And all oh, the T side have this one in BTN. On the bomb side, the bomb goes down. Now Cement It's going to be the next one around the corner there. But Harn, he's walking in. The bomb will be planted. Should it be there? But what a shot coming in. Zello, the shoulders. What another PT50 fighting for the oh, frags. No. Milky. And 11 rounds in a row for fate. 11 rounds in a row. Grev, this is madness. That's insane. How are they able to pull that off? <laughs> That's not something you usually see for like, oh, look at the frags as well. Milky, Patrick, and Nikki, all like, they're living it. Harn is doing incredibly as well. The only, well, there is hardly any downsides for that fate. CC side at all. I mean, Nexus, they've been slowing down massively. It's not been going in their way at all. Stopped at every single nook and cranny, been softened up by utility, and they it didn't even try. I feel like they didn't even try to go for like a hyper aggressive A or B push. They just constantly waited for the utility. That might have been a little bit of a little bit of their downfall. As it never really got to turn out in their favor. Potentially, things might turn around on this CT side. A little bit of utility on uh, Raga. Two flashbangs in a kit. It's seemingly all you would ever need. With a side of fate, a little bit more of just a uh, standard Glock spread, and one guy with a little bit of utility. So they're applying pressures to a, uh, a sprinkle of everywhere. <laughs> a little bit of a double stack towards on banana. Nothing really going to be amassing from that anytime soon. Considering the positioning placed out from the side of Nexus, if Nexus don't get this pistol, that's going to be very, very bad news, considering their economy. Oh, it will definitely bode nothing but bad luck. This, oh, this is still the map pick of Fate. You can definitely excuse that. And Nexus may not be the best team on the map, at least. Like, they like to play it every now and then. Still would have preferred some other map, like, well, their own map pick of Mirage, which is coming up right after this map. Just to uh, put that out there. Or Dust 2, which also, is, coincidentally, is the decider here. Like, those are the maps Nexus are... Fairly good at the Mirage and Dust too. Like playing those in Fate they themselves. They share the similar map pool, but now I've been rambling on it for long enough and 30 seconds left. Will be that A push coming in. Patrick, I mean, from long through that smoke as it starts to fade, as the T-Side now making a noise from short, the Nikki, the first man in. Looking for the player oh. in the head, spotted in graveyard, has found the first defender, and oh, the second <laughs> one, the Fate player, since taking down that defense one at a time. And that's all they need to do. The bomb has gone down to 5 on 3. CTs of Nexus game. You have to go for that retake with very little utility flash. Or two flashes and a kit on one of their players. And how do they get away from this one is the question. Is Semin already fighting? But surely it's not going to be enough. Zillow on the bomb site. Looking to go for some frags. But there's Semin with one. Now pushing in even deeper. There's that second and a third. Oh. What is happening? Here's turned around. And Nikki, the only man he started things off here with the Glock. And now has to finish things off with the one on two, but he's not got it, Zello. He's still got a kit. It's going to be very close, but I think they've got it just in time. And a bit over a second to spare, maybe two or three max, and Nexus Gaming, they get that pistol round. Crucial one as well. You don't want to be starting this half off with the wrong foot forward. And well, that's incredible stuff from uh, Zello and Raga, mostly just plowing their way through that... Uh, well, five versus three, post-pound situation. 
most cases, you ne you never think that was ever even a possibility. You say like, okay, no, we just take the next round. It's all right. But no, they just went for it, and it turns out it worked out in their favor. Now, oh, Fago with a little bit of a uh, diver. Oh, oh no! no! <laughs> Red Star, that's the wrong team, man. Uh, you are. Oh boy, that's that's not exactly what they want at all. That they're that's a slaughter. Mostly at their well, own it hands. It was a tactical nuke, but unfortunately the wrong team. If that would have gone towards the other side of the team, I would have been very impressed, but now I'm just sad. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it was a quick round. This, the team side knew they were going to lose, that. that's why they walked through the Molotov in the first place, but... Yeah. You want it to be a bit you want it to be a bit better like that. You don't want to see that see you I'm like I'm at a loss for words right now, Grab. I'm struggling to even speak. Well, it's a, a little bit of a, a little bit of a mess as fate did stumble over their own feet, but now they're looking to get trampled by side of Nexus instead. Again? They're able to oh, get another nade. double nade and Well, now round is over. <laughs> that was a uh, It's a double nade and the round's over. Yeah, once again, <laughs> it's it's deja vu, except for this time fate invested even less. And with the uh, three-round streak now from Nexus, will they continue on with it, however? Because they uh, did start off that T, uh, T side very similarly, similarly. Three quick rounds, but then eventually lost steam. Now up against the five AKs. They have an op in uh, Jello's hands. Might be trying to make a little bit of a play somewhere. Oh, he might get contact towards on metal. Nothing found just yet. A little bit of contact towards on tunnels, but no, no frags or hardly any damage will even be given away to each other. Yeah, this, he said. Now have those AKs fate have a chance to uh, get themselves a few rounds going in this second half. Already doing some damage here, and now out towards banana. Look at the flashbang. It's perfect. Oh. The BTN with the first frag has found something. Milky is still around the corner, looking to get a bit more damage done. And unfortunately, unable to do that without any proper support. And, well, the first flash, he might have swung with it, but as you saw, his teammate got absolutely nothing out of it, so not going to sacrifice his team or his own life in vain. And instead, going to let Fade work a bit of map control towards that A side, their plan B in this one. But under control, probably the plan A for most teams, unless they've got something very uh, straightforward in mind, and A execute, something like that. Go for that apartment's control. Basically, always you want to have at least one player towards Banana. Like, the very crucial part of this map, because the CTs, otherwise they can just leave one man there, rotate another man towards that A side, have a four-man stack, and you're going to walk into your death. Basically, that's the kind of stuff you're looking at yeah, otherwise. Basically. Well, at least, like, 90% of the time. Fate running in, or crawling their way towards on B now, as the smokes are starting to fade. BTN. It's been a bit quiet lately, but he's looking to strike on now, but he won't even need to. As the rest of his team is also there. Four players on the on B already, and no hard he's gonna get absolutely rushed. Four rounds in a row now for Nexus. And well, fate. They started this their eleven round streak off with a uh, a force buy or a half buy with Deagles and a couple of P250s and CZs. Do you see that happening again when they're on that T side instead? I don't know. I really don't know. I mean, there's a chance, but against the CT side, which, I mean, right now Nexus, they are delivering Zello on the AWP. Definitely going to be a big factor on this one. Even though Inferno, a lot of people are going to say it's not that heavy of an AWP map, but... Like, as if you can't use the AWP, it definitely gives you a big advantage. Like, Zello, a very good AWPer. And, well, against Pistols here, that might pose a slight threat. And now an AK already picked up as well. The trade's coming in. Let's see how that CT side deal with it. There's one frag for the ADLP. And now the man advantage once again found for that T side. Look for the next man. But who will it be? No one just yet. As once again, Fate trying their luck towards the B bomb site yet again. They're, this round of all is probably the best to go for this, considering the amount of. or the lack of CT's side defense and he actually gets out of light that's the most surprising part of all that one another nade coming on through and a little bit of karma considering the absolute torture that they went through bomb will go down despite the flames and he will get out alive it's all into nikki he's the cornerstone of this post plant because he's the only one with the ak they're going to be relying on him just a little bit looking 
for these first couple of frags. There's not a lot of casualties on side of button, and well, we'll get the first. Looking for even more now as Tracer going back and forth, leaving everything onto Harn, and he's not going to be living around for much longer. Next, as they break the streak, and they get themselves five rounds in a row on that CT side. And now it's starting to get scary. Yeah, they get another one on the board there, and well, like you do mention, it is going to get a bit scary here for that T side of Fate. As yet to get started, it's been five rounds in a row for the side of Nexus now on the CT side, which is goes to show they are no slouches on this map either. May not have had the best start, but it is that CT side of the comfort they have along with it as they head over to that next round. The T side once again have those weapons out, and we'll see if they can finally put a stop to the uh, streak of rounds that Nexus have found themselves in. That banana smoke may not be the best one, but still, it does its job. T side not going to be going for any sort of aggression through that. They don't feel you will be baited out by the uh, by the T side there. Moth of any smoke has been used and removed from the T side's grasp. But again, same as a few rounds before. T side not going for that banana control. Instead, we'll be focusing a bit more towards that A side. And you can see BTN. It's got a decent angle here. And as soon as I even mentioned that, he decides to move off of it. Smoke on the short as... Oh, they got to trap them. The T-side, they used to smoke towards long, and I like that. Oh. Got to trap them in, quarantine them inside of the brackets area, and Raga already finding that first frag to boost over. His teammate right above him, Semit, looking for that frag, and now... Don't think he's got to be finding anything just yet for the CT side. They've got four players here. Here's that boost. The tower coming in, Ooh. and the frags keep blowing. Nexus on the verge of round number 10, and there's a five versus one. Harn, the only man who can do anything about this, and needs to get a one-on-five, the ace... With 40 seconds left and an AWP. His chances are not you know, that great here. I'm not going to lie to you, Grev. I'm not going to lie to you. There's also a flank coming in from side of IM. And well, he's definitely heard it. So now there's a little bit of extra security coming the way. First side of Nexus. They now know where he is, especially with that off shot. And that will secure a flawless round for side of Nexus. And now having six rounds in a row. And on top of that, hardly any casualties the last couple of rounds as well. So they're. Bank is uh, very solid for the incoming moments. They have, well, enough to buy for two gun rounds. So if Fate wanted to try and make a comeback, they're going to have to make a, uh, well, a long run for it, considering that I have to go up against uh, like three or maybe even four full buys. Yeah. Uh, would it be possible to get the uh, uh, utility damage up on the screen? Is that possible right now? With the timer coming to an end, we want to see if that is. Uh... If that's there. If we have that, no. We can just always um, uh, assure that it is a lot. It's a lot of utility damage for both of <laughs> it's these in, It's Inferno. It's Inferno. It's There's Inferno, yeah. If you take Banana, you get naded. That's how it works. That is true. And I mean, Fate, they've been staying away from it. Yeah, After those actually, first few yeah. rounds, the nade from Red Star. <laughs> yeah, they don't, they don't trust that he's no longer buying HEs. He's only getting yeah, Molotov smokes and flashbangs from now on. He wants to assure really... his teammates not going to be happening again. Well, Nexus on the uh, verge of equalizing. It's been a while since they've been in the lead, but this is definitely the best poss possibility they have of taking this one back. So far, it's been a flawless CT side. Even better than what Fate have been able to put up. Once again, with the banana control, just a quick look towards your mini map, and you see that two players from Nexus have pushed all the way up. So, CT side, they know what's coming, they possibly know when as well. So, they are very prepared of all this. Nade stack, once again, coming on through. It's a lot of damage towards on Red Star. He's not going to be too happy about that just yet. And with three AKs on the defense as well, it's going to be well, very difficult to punch a hole through all this. Considering the amount of utility, not exactly looking too. Great. 45 seconds is left on the clock. And Molotov's now fading away. Flashbang's coming on through. Raga needs to hold it towards on long. We'll be trying his hardest. We'll take down Red Star. Almost second towards on Milky as well. Back to a four and four. And now, actually, look at this. They're turning back around. Fate. Over towards the B bomb site as soon as, as fast as they can. Jello is the only player here with the AWP. 20 seconds left. They have to make a move. Trying to prove much to prove on through, but. Good jump from Patrick. We'll save him his life for now. Another delay oh. coming on through. And we'll secure a bomb plant. And the flank coming in from Nikki as well is going to be absolutely detrimental for stopping the, the uh, rotation. He will get that double. 
I think only some Semites, but look how low the defense is. Yeah. Simon obviously doesn't know this, so we'll have to go ahead and save his AK. And well, it's finally, been, uh, we're finally there has been a, a stop to the side of Nexus game here. It was six rounds in a row for them, and Fate find themselves that round at number 12. They've, right when it comes to uh, when it comes down to it, they want to stay in the lead. That's basically it here. No matter how close you get, no matter how scrappy it is, it's just Nikki to find those two frags at the end that really just cements it. And that cement left completely alone. 12 to 10, Greva. You think there's still a chance? I'm for uh, Nexus to come on through or for Fate to take this one away? Because like, currently I'm seeing a possibility for both of them. Yeah, I mean, whichever you want to go ahead and uh, elaborate well, slightly on. <laughs> just uh, imagining the, the, the re reality where Fate is currently, well, just broken the, uh, the streak from Nexus Gaming. I don't think they're going to be too bummed uh, about that on either side at the moment, considering, well, for Nexus, the amount of money that they have, the fact that they've been able to put up a streak like this, for side of fate, well, they've finally been able, been able to put a stop to it. They can do it again. They did it uh, quite, you know, solid as well. And considering how all of them are basically turning everything on, I mean, technically Red Star has nine kills, but he did have a little bit of an oopsie with a frag grenade a little bit earlier on. And uh, well, there's a possibility for both these teams to take it. The question is, who will reach the finish line first? F fate only has well four rounds to do it, but it's on that T side, which seems to be a little bit more difficult when running in towards frag grenades and molotovs. Yeah, but at this point of the game, you're usually going to start seeing something from that, for, from, or from the CT or T side as well. Like, both these teams are going to discuss, they, like, they've been doing this, they do, they've been doing that. Like, those kind of uh, s slight nuances in the game that might help you win the round. Obviously, you're not going to go into very deep stuff like this smoke, that smoke, all of those combined with blood, whatever. This place, position, all that stuff means it's this. Uh, like, slight positions, something like that. The T-side haven't been taking a banana. CTs, they've been capitalizing on it. They've been sending four plays towards that A-bomb site quite often. T-side may be going to try and change things up here slightly. I'm guessing they're going to go for a bit more banana aggression from the or from this and the next round on. At least that's my two cents on this matter. Obviously, I'm not sure how realistic that will be, but Harn has got a good spawn, a good go for a peak here, but Holds mid instead. And on the other side will be just Raga. Shoulder peeking in to mid. And well, you can already see Patrick going for a bit of banana control. Control giving the CT side at bay. And well, those nades coming in. Doing some slight damage in Zello. He's going to be right on this other side and the T side. I'm guessing they got to wait for a flash ring right over that wall. Oh, Shot. That was... Luckily he was dead on him, but apparently I was I've been scary. mistaken. Definitely could have done some damage. I like that take. They boost Milky on the half over the flashbang. Don't really see that too often, and that's going to offset the aim of anyone, no matter who you are. So, a decent idea. A bit, a bit creative now. And the CTs. Look at that. They've rotated the third man here. They want to fight for this banana control. They're extremely keen on it, but the T side, now they have taken it. They seem to be going back. They know the retake is going to be coming in. The nades, the flashbangs, whatever the T side have now. Needed to make some kind of move very quickly. Right position known, and another nade to add to the tally again. They're not doing huge damage always, but at least like 20 25, like you mentioned earlier as well. That is going to pile up. And now the CT side rotations being made. And well, will that timing favor the T side or the CT side? Find out right now as another nade goes in. Still doing damage, and that is a big one. Two players taking down about 20 HP. Both of them, but there's Ayim and Milky trading frags. Rugged. Finds one more on the T side and now have to take this A bomb site in a man at disadvantage. But I am look at this position. He's got one right in front of him, but not even given it to the T side. They are not allowed to get that A bomb site by any stretches and to shut it down immediately. What of a chaotic uh, take there. Fate yet again. Running down the clock and trying to make like the last uh, last 30 round panic. Last 30 second panic really set in towards that CT side. But that time not really working out in their favor. Still going to be going in for a full buy. Trying to make the most out of this, and so as long as they have money, they're potentially looking at well, only one or two more ecos before, well, there's no more rounds left to play. They have to be very, very careful with what they can uh, 
can and cannot give away. Oh, so actually, the one. CTs now, yeah. I yeah, mentioned I last round. Yeah, last round I mentioned the T side. We're looking to try and change things up and go for a bit more banana control. This the CT side to really fight for it. Like we haven't seen that aggression yet, but now the Nexus they've changed things up and the T side they've got themselves that plan towards that A bomb site. Some damage already done by I am in a spam. Ozello, the man to hold along the T side, gonna be coming in any second now. Oh, Patrick, that Molly currently takes him twice and takes one damage from it. Very cool, but now out towards that oh. A-Bombs and Nick and Milky already finding frags here. There's one more on balcony. There's that frag coming in. Red start immediately with a trade. T-side. They find themselves in relatively open A-Bombs. they forcefully vacating the CT side away from in Raga and the walk into Nikki. Surely got to get taken down with the knife in his hand. <sighs> and leaving it on the seventh. Fate. They have now found their footing here. That is a uh, sudden turnaround. Going for a little bit more aggressive uh, plays. Not letting the but now that control set in for too long before the A execute comes into full uh, full flourish. And well, I will get 13 for the side of uh, Fate Esports and Nexus kind of stuck in this halfway tug of war for the most amount of points. So far, Fate, once they have taken uh, point or control of points, they are not not really looking to give that away just yet. Two bomb plants, a lot of money, a lot, lot of investments flowing on through that terrorist side. And with Nexus, well, they still are on the uh, quite pretty pile of cash. So they're going to be happily forcing back on into this. It's going to be a uh, tug of war. Might, might not even need an eco or the first one to break. That's going to be a real big scenario. Current situation, a current play style from Zyden Nexus, they are completely isolated, they're completely shutting down any attempt at a B push. Once, once again, Fate going towards the A bomb site, where there's three players lying in wait. Yeah, T side now, they've completely switched gear here. We've seen one app take so far, and that was on pistols now, out towards the bomb site. Look oh at that Milky Strike, Milky strafing out, there's Ion with one on. The second one from his teammate as they've just found the frags and immediately shot down the oh. apartment take. Not going better than the last one. That's that CT side to find the frags and Nexus. Look at this, a flawless hold so far and they needed their economy. Risk of being reset completely here, but now... Fade all their dreams on a single man here. Rock immediately walking into the angle of the dink. And the body shot comes in. 13-12. Nexus, they are keeping it very, very close down in the second half. I don't know what the idea there for Fate was, because they just committed four people to rushing out of out of apartments. That is not a good recipe of success if you only have rifles. If it's pistols, might as well. It's a Hail Mary. Go for it. But then you have, like, AKs, and now you're reduced to a MAC-10 and limited amount of utility. So in my Ooh, eyes, not exactly the best play to make. That's not a, not a good smoke either. And well, immediately first frags already been found. They've been shut down, shut away, potentially grabbing that bomb again. And with the frags going back and forth, everything is now moving oh. into higher action as BTN will get himself another double, leaving everything on Nikki in a one versus four. Considering there's only one player from Nexus over towards the A bomb site before the rotation is going to be coming in, it's still halfway doable. He needs to find the one versus one duels. So far, A bomb site is completely up for grabs almost. Yeah. Shell's looking at it though. Yeah, that's it's going to be the end of that. Over. Ooh. Things tied up here finally. It's been a long time since uh, things have been this competitive here. The first few rounds, it's been what, once. Before has been tied up at 4 4, and now once again at 13 13. But that T side, now we're going to see if they can, well, try and push it right over the edge. They had the lead at 11 4 in the halftime, and the second half has not been very kind to them. I'll, uh, you're not going to be too happy about it. I'll, I'll just say that much. I don't know how, uh, why do you have your own thoughts on this or not, but. Yeah, only getting two rounds on that T side. That's not exactly looking to uh, inspire confidence in your own map pick. You did have a fantastic uh, <laughs> CT side and then probably would win if you only were playing on that one, but 
so far not having the most amount of luck going on the offensive. They're going to have to go with just a half by this time around. Potentially for Nex to take 14. It's getting dangerous territory. Nex, they don't need to really go for any types of ecos in the near future. It's looking all very, very secure and safe on their side. Not really going for aggressive peaks this time around either. Not going for hyper-aggressive banana control. So then we'll just leave the pistols be so far. Yep, the CT side of Nexus Gaming. Now they have themselves that chance to steal the lead for the first time in a l very long time. First half dominated by side of Fate. And now headed into this one. As pistols from Fate. I really doubt they can do anything with this. Maybe the bomb plan at a max, but I'm still very uh, wary if that's even going to be possible. So far, like, the CT defense from Nexus has been very good, like, mirroring Fate or uh, excuse me, that side of Nexus. Mainly the fact that it's been waiting on the bomb sites patiently. For the team that comes towards it now is already frags coming in one, two, three Whoa. from the CT side. There's Harren finding a few frags of his own, but should be too much to do here, or maybe not. He's got another one. Looking for the next one on the bomb side itself. The flashbang coming in. And the second player from short wants to find them. And has a chance that mold of that is big. It might just force him out of position. The flick coming in, but not gonna be landing the shot and Alright, right, for the ace here. Needs to find the one on it too here. Looking for the players jumping onto the bomb side of boss, but Raga catching him out from short. And it will be 14 for the side of Nexus game. It gets a bit too close for comfort there, but CT side do handle it very well in the end. Getting very close and well. Despite only having pistols, they're still able to make it a little bit more competitive than they were with the rifles a couple rounds back. But now it's a do or die moment. You're not really Going on a lot of reserves. If you lose this one, you're back to pistols again. Perhaps even, well, they might even have to bank on just SMGs, which not exactly the safest bet, but definitely still effective. Nexus looking to confirm themselves at least over time. Oh, playing with fire, my man. Ten points of health remaining. As now Nexus is going for full apartments control, not slowing down at all. Milky will get the first and a quick trade in. With now two players left on this defense, they will bring in another 10 HP on Jello, and he's now in charge of holding the long on his own. A stray bullet will be enough. A stiff breeze might knock a rock into his face. And well, might just be what fate are looking to. Uh... And that seems to be what they're praying for. You're going towards the right bomb site. There's only. Cement here, and he has well. A Molotov could be good to deny a little bit, and well, he'll be trying to, and it will actually den deny them completely. As now the push has to come in from the back of a smoke, but nothing matters anymore. What? As Milky and Patrick did demolish that B defense. The CT side, why are they so far apart from each other? That makes me. I wonder, was the rotate not there in time? Is that what it was? Might be. Right, yeah, either way, Patrick giving a free kill, pushing into CT. Totally unexpected. And Milky with a frag on the bomb, on the man on the bomb side itself as well. And the CT side now trying to save those weapons, looking for exit frags. The T side economy yet to be established, as you can see there on the left side. No one above 1k besides Milky. Well, he's only above that one because of the uh, frags he found in the round as well. Nope. Nate again going out the wrist, but I'm still doing more damage there. Nate with another frag, and the second taking out both the CTs there. Well, denying a few weapons will make them buy a bit more into this again. And the CTs, oh, look at this. If they lose this round, the economy is going to be to totally ruined here. And now this one, this could just decide the entire game here and this entire map right here in this round. Yeah, them going for those last couple of exit frags are really not going in their favor anymore. Considering the fact that they are running out of funds very, very quickly, and oh, that's spelling disaster. Oh, already out the picture, gonna have to use the smoke grenades to get it back. They won't even be able to, considering the positioning of it. Gonna be trying to get it back with all his might, but not gonna be happening just yet. A lot of utility are being used on that CT side to try and delay, and it's only been. Oh, well, there's still a minute 30 left on the clock. Gonna be running out of time, and now, once again. A little bit of double sacker towards on Banana and Milky. We'll take the brunt of that. 
with a minute and ten. Still here. It's on to Button. He's been left alone on this B defense. Looking for the first couple of frags. Not going to be able to find any of them. And with the amount of smokes, three of them being towards that CT side. Just making... They're just doubling up on all their utility. Two flat frags towards on Ruins. Two Molotovs towards Shadow. They want to make sure no one even gets close to it. And yet next, they have to forfeit this. They have to give map point to Fate. And what a turnaround it has been considering the rocky start they have gotten themselves into. Yeah, keeping it very, very close here. And, well, now getting the lead for that CRT side will fate. Finally finding a few rounds here out of the, uh, out of the end stretches of, the, of this map. Definitely bodes uh, well for them on their map as well. Want to see them take this if they want to have a chance, I want to say. I don't think they're going to win that second map. Like, if this one goes so close where Nexus now, having found that comeback into this one, you're going to expect the... Uh, Quite a bit more from them on this mapping over uh, on their mapping of Mirage. I'll say like Fate, they're in, they're a decent map or team on it. They've played it quite a bit in the past three months. Twenty maps, while Nexus themselves only having nineteen. But the win rate, just a slight difference. Forty five for the side of Fate and Nexus with sixty three. So I mean, the stats and everything like that backs up Nexus on that map. Obviously, we're gonna have to see when we get to it. But now. The final round of regulation begins right here, right now. And grab this is going to be the round to decide it. OT or no T. Well, it really depends on who is going to take the first step towards getting the, the uh, <laughs> getting themselves a little bit of a safe spot towards the second round of the upper bracket. But now, the Nexus, once again, hanging on by just a little bit. They don't really have the best of equipment to try and delay a massive push, but with the save coming in as well, for the last round, at least gives them a fighting chance. That's all they're looking for at the moment. Looking to track this over towards an overtime, like you said, and already Jello fully banned just, just to get down the opposite upper. It does make Fate reconsider their banana possibilities. Well, currently, it seems like Fate want to try to go towards A yet again. A little bit of a confusion of where the third rotation is going to be coming in from Nexus. We'll stick around towards A just for now. So fake is going to be try or at least attempted. Nothing just yet. That long is going to be tempted first. Raga not going to be able to get anything going. That will set the first cogs in motion for the side of the for the assault of fate. And now coming in a little bit of a crossfire setup already, and equal trades happening all over the place, but definitely still in favor of fate. Looking at a three on two with only the bomb plant to, to take this over towards Mirage with a first map victory. First map of the tournament so far, Nikki. A little bit, a little bit of a questionable uh, position, and it's almost definitely dangerous. To stick around as Jello no has his location dialed and trying to spam on through. Not going to able to just yet. We'll be able to do it in the end. On towards on Red Star. Needs to get the first and second four bullets up to the chamber. Look for the four. Not going to be able to do it, and we'll we will be going over towards on overtime. As Nexus, they will take that one away, and Jello, he was the main actor behind all of that. And well, what a start to the tournament. 15 15. We'll head to overtime here on the first map of the entire tournament. Well, it is none of the map than Inferno as well. Known for it. The notorious Inferno T. Well, getting into this immediately. And well, we got to keep going. That retake itself was a very big one. The, the wall bank from Zello on the AWP. He found the player in, hiding in Minipit and the. Well, last player only finding one red star, unable to clutch things out as needed for the side of fate. And now it's not for anyone. Like the last what ten rounds of this match, I want to say, have been very, very close. Like basically trading rounds, no team getting more than two in a row, I think. And here, getting into this one, overtime is now alive. And the T side, yeah. it will still be fate. And I, I'm pretty this? sure, yeah, they've even got a. Stalin, Milky's not really a man to play for this team. He's for, uh, I think, down to earth, if I'm not mistaken, with uh, some other team or ex team excellency players, I think. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure he's just 
standing in, so that goes to show his or that side of fate is very good on this map. Even with that a disadvantage oh. go, and then apparently Zello full of blind finds the first man here. And a four on five immediately for that T side. So Nexus Gaming in this overtime start goes very well. The boost on Banana, I love to see this one. Well, CT is not going to be facing this. They are a bit wary of anything T side might have up their sleeve, and I headed up towards that Banana area itself. Nikki, that is very bold to go through that smoke just like that. Well, he does not well. care. He's a very, uh, well, very confident man, I'll say that. And look at oh. that, the T side, going to be catching that with surprise. Hello with frag number one. Now his team is going to be there to try and help him out, aid him in his quest of success. Milky with another frag and headed towards that team. Also, Zello still hiding on the backside. The flick is coming in, but Milky, another frag and the T side. Three on three is to put down that bomb. 15, 15, look for round of 16 here. Magic number is going to be 19 here in the first overtime, but... Well, starting things off here, which one of these two teams will find that first round here? As the nades going out back and forth, some spam damage, the nade chasing him down, oh. so much more damage done, but Horn still turns round. And the T side in the man advantage BTN through that smoke, gonna be trying to go for a bit of spam and damage. Not gonna be able to go to the bomb site just yet. Here's Raga coming up from the bomb. CT spawn has found one. Milky is still alive, being a nuisance. Three frags in the round so far. All headshots He's looking for one more here. He's got them all. 100% headshots in that round as well. 24 frags this name. And 16 15 here. What a man. Yeah, that's a good way to start kicking off the overtime spree. For those who are fairly new to Counter Strike, it's a. Uh, well, it's what happens when teams tie with everything, everyone now going over towards on $16,000 to purchase whatever they want to. And, well, it's quickly draining for that Nexus Gaming already. Considering there's only three rounds in each half, not going to be the biggest issue just yet. Also considering the fact that the economy not too big of a factor anymore. Fate, they might just be able to play a little bit more recklessly. Same for Nexus in terms of retakes. Yeah. For now, both teams playing quite passively. Three players from Fate towards the... A <laughs> palm site. A little bit of a dangerous game. No one uh, comes out hurt, however. Jello Jell has to start stop playing with my heart, man. Those flicks to the wall. I, th I think they're going to hit every single time. Yeah, now look at this again. They got to keep it up the uh, similar type of play we have seen this entire game. Just taking that mid control again. Help from Boiler. All right, looking for a bang with the AWP. There's one in pay to has been spotted flick not connecting. I don't think it gives us both these teams a bit of information. Looking for a, uh, a bit of something. This has smoke going down 40 seconds on the clock. That will signal it be split. But as we can see, all of the T side, every single one of them, all five members towards that A bomb site currently. So I'm expecting a flashbang go through that smoke, or maybe not even a flashbang. And out, out towards long semi the man in the library who could have stopped this, or maybe not the smoke in his way. There's BTN fighting one, looking at that next one. These are coming in from all angles, but there's one, two, and oh. nearly a third from semi the man to come in right here at the perfect time. And I am with one more, and the second one shutting down the CT side. And we've got 16, 16, and keeping it very close again. Neither team is finding the advantage headed in the overtime here. I've, I've 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 spotted a pattern at this point. Whenever fate, you know, go a little bit more aggressively, like start things off at the beginning of the round, they usually end up converting it. However, when they take their time, you know, ha ha playing a little bit more passively, waiting for the uh, entry frag to come on in, it usually doesn't come out going in their favor. Of course, last round of overtime, a little bit of a um, well, an odd one out in terms of that equation. Overall, they've had a lot more success when they were playing a little bit more aggressively. And Nexus, well, they like playing as passive as they are. They I haven't seen them take as aggressive banana control, maybe like one or two times to keep bait yeah. guessing, but overall. Well, yeah, it's passive. been more just them just trying to go with that. I don't really know. They've just been very patient, but it has worked out. I mean, you can't argue against it. It just seems like... That side of uh, Fate doesn't really want to go towards that banana area that much. Again, like, even then the last round they go towards A. That one does not work out at all. Might want to make them, or might prone them go to a bit towards that 
the bombs that will see as the utility now comes in so much of it and those nades doing some damage. And we're still fairly well alive here, if you want to call it that. Fairly well off in terms of HP. The CT side is still even more nades. This time not gonna be touching anyone. No, they're admitted to receive those with the T side. Half thing in control of Banana Patrick gonna be the man left alone here on the CT side. Look at this, they're gonna be sending a flashbang. And any second now, I'm assuming it will go in. And now the spray comes in, but Semid with the swing. He just goes past the spray, immediately finds the headshot onto Patrick. And the CT side have been given control of that area of the map. And now, T side, are they going to be ready? What do they want to do here? Banana taken away from them. You're probably going to assume CTs make rotations. You would be correcting that one. I had a three towards that B bomb summit now. It's one man holding it aggressively. I'm guessing that's the AWP from the CT side. And one still around the speedway area, slow rotating, but will have themselves towards that B-bomb side when needed. There's one frag for Zello. Open the CT side, is still firing off in all cylinders now, has to defend that B-bomb side. One more in CT, looking for the magic, he's caught out here and back towards the bomb side. Oh, has been found out, Red Star 1 and Milky with a second on the team side. They are not falling here, or I say oh, so, no. but there's the frags from Remington, from Sem and Anuraga. Molotov into CT, not going to be going far enough to force him out of position, or again, I say that, but it does it take him force him away from a position, but no smokes there, and well, the T-side is surely gonna be oh. taken down here again, no hard with another one, he's gonna prove me wrong on all counts, or maybe not the last one, his IM swings and finds the final player here in 17 for the side of Nexus. And Man, Cass's curse is real. <laughs> I, I just can't say anything, they just, they should have had that so easily, it was a three on one. The bolt of it looked like it was not gonna reach him, apparently the spread goes there, and man, I'm just going to shut up now. Yeah, good effort. No, please don't. <laughs> good effort from uh, Harn there at the end. But now we move over towards, well, it seems to be Fate's favorite territory. And again, they did get the exact same scoreline that Nexus did in the end of it. In fact, everything went towards an overtime, but in a uh, much more convincing fashion. So let's see if they're able to continue on with that. Or if Nexus plotted out something to try and go up against it. It seems like aggressive pushes are definitely a good way to go. Um, already a little bit of damage being taken, and rotation's gonna be a little bit too late for side of Nikki. So he has to play real care. Full smoke's in his favor, however. He will drop the bomb. Been picked up by Simmons. And now with the push going on in, Harn gets himself a kill with the Deagle. And Patrick already in the flank there, boxed in next to him. Nowhere else to go, but still oh. Simmons is able to get a frag out of it, leaving everything on towards on Raga and a one on four. Oh, this position is unknown. Okay. Okay. Oh, this could be big. Look at this. Wow, oh, this one. Now let's see. He's immediately know where he is. There's now second man coming in, and well, Red Star apparently just get him. Seeming like he might have had a few more kills there, but I've been proven wrong once again. I feel like the fact that the Molotov bounced up and like hit the perfect spot where uh, the CT was completely hidden behind it. It's a little bit unlucky for the side of Nexus, but no, this is calculated. It's it is yeah. It's the ultimate team <laughs> flash, even though you don't have a flashbang. <laughs> it's a six hundred dollar flashbang. All right, moving on towards fifth round of overtime, and now one team will be taking map point. Will it be? Uh, Fate again. So they were able to get it last time around. And now they're going for a little more banana control yet again. Not we're going to be slowing down just yet. Smoke far down and well, already backing away from it. Yielding it just to have three players on that potential take. Overall, nothing happening towards that part of the map. Question is, how well can Horn hold on and he will get the first frag completely blinded? That's definitely a promising start, but he needs a little bit of help from the rest of his team. If Nexus are to continue on pushing through, a lot of damage being dealt, both on 20 give or take. Other rotations are, come, are coming in. And with the limited amount of time that Nexus have, they have they need to make a call to go somewhere. Looks like they want to go towards that bomb site and considering the, the flank or the man in the back line which is i am at the moment but so it goes a little bit both ways considering nikki's positioning and he will get taken down by i am that just decided the entire round i feel like because now everything is a mess <laughs> fate 
has to scramble in the defense, the offensive scramble as well. 20 seconds left, they have to go towards this bomb site. Milky gets a kill through the smoke, does get taken down by just a pushing seven. Oh, and with Patrick that's... now being a bash on the last player alive, and Zello is all everything. Needs to take stick that bomb, not going to be able to do anything as fate take map point 18 17. And well. It's looking quite bleak for Nexus, but they still have a fighting chance. Overtime money is in their favor. So they will be able to put up a fight. Yeah, 18, 17, Fate. Again, they're going to have that match point. They can have the chance to close things out here, but Nexus. We will see if they can run oh, out, force it into overtime number two instead. There's a bit of utility already going out, looking for some players to take it down here. See, it's taking that map control. Banana once again will be neglected by the T side. This one a bit more than the uh, last few, but immediately starting things off towards that oh. A side. Harden with one more. The off and starting things off with the frag. Some damage taken, but still able to survive it fairly well with the AWP. And now looking for that next one into boiler. Well, your shoulder may not, may or may not have been spotted. I'm not too sure, but I am waiting that smoke. And it's all gonna come down to that. Timing another nade. So much damage done every single time. Zealot and 47. From the back of that and out the side. Are they ready for this? Well, they start to make their way in. And well, already some more damage being done at 5 versus 4 here. D side, surely this is the end. Look at the HP on them. Two players down to 25 HP. One dead to half HP and BTN is the only one with any HP. Now walking out to Long Milky. Gotta try and stop him immediately. Walks around that corner, this one, Yeesh. holding the mouse one down, but Semmons with a trade, and Nikki with another one, and a 2 on 4 here, Zello and Semmons needed to find these frags, and need to clutch out the round of 4, their team, 19 HP and 7, doing a bit of damage, down. again, on the red star here, taking control of long 30 seconds left, and they cannot afford to fail, they cannot afford to falter even a second here, as 15, or 25 seconds left, two players waiting on that A site for them to come in, there's that smoke, and that will signal it, they will know exactly what's going to happen here. That T side need to find this round here. They need to force overtime number two. Oh, the bomb goes down, spamming into it. Nikki not able to get it stopped, but there's one frag for Red Star and the one on four is not enough. Hard comes in and the final frag comes in. 19 17 for the side of Fate on map and number one. They do get their map pick in the very end. That'll take a long time to get them there, but it will be that. Well, that was a hard-fought victory on the side of Fate Esports. It took a while to get there.